Once upon a time, there was a young couple named Jack and Jill. They had been dating for a while and decided to take a trip together to a beautiful, secluded cabin in the woods. They had a great time exploring the outdoors, taking long walks, and cuddling by the fire. One day, while they were out for a hike, they stumbled upon a picturesque pond. As they sat by the water's edge, Jack got down on one knee and pulled out a ring. Jill was completely surprised and overjoyed as Jack asked her to marry him. She said yes, and they hugged and kissed as the sun set behind them. As they walked back to the cabin, they couldn't stop laughing and reminiscing about the silly moments they had shared on the trip. They knew that they were meant to be together forever, and that their love would only continue to grow stronger. But as they reached the cabin, they realized they were lost, and it was getting dark. They kept walking and walking until they found a road, and flagged down a car for a ride back to the cabin. The couple laughed about their adventure, and realized that no matter what happens, they would always be there for each other, and that was all that mattered. They returned to the cabin, and enjoyed their last night together before heading back home. They knew that their love story was far from over, and that they would have many more adventures in the future. There was once a young woman named Sarah, who had recently moved to a new city. She was feeling a bit lonely and homesick, but she was determined to make the most of her new life. One day, as she was doing her laundry at the local laundromat, she noticed a kind-looking young man named John sitting alone in a corner, reading a book. Sarah couldn't help but be drawn to John, and decided to strike up a conversation with him. They quickly realized that they had a lot in common, and found themselves chatting for hours on end. They exchanged numbers and made plans to hang out again soon. As Sarah and John continued to spend time together, they found themselves falling deeper and deeper in love. They enjoyed each other's company and had a lot of fun exploring the city together. One day, as they were folding laundry at the laundromat, John got down on one knee and asked Sarah to marry him. She was overjoyed and said yes, and they hugged and kissed as the other laundromat patrons looked on in excitement. Sarah and John knew that they were meant to be together forever, and that their love story was just beginning. They continued to meet at the laundromat, a place where they first met, every week to do laundry together and reminisce about the day they fell in love. They knew that they had found their true home in each other, and that they would always be there for each other, no matter what. Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Leela who loved nothing more than swimming with dolphins. She spent every spare moment at the local marine park, watching and learning about these majestic creatures. One day, while she was there, she met a young man named Max, who worked as a park ranger. Leela and Max quickly hit it off and found that they shared a passion for marine life. They started dating and spent all their free time together, either at the park or out on the water, swimming with the dolphins. Their love for each other grew stronger, and each passing day, they knew that they were meant to be together forever. They decided to get married at the marine park, with the dolphins as their witnesses. But just as they were about to exchange vows, a broken water main caused the park to flood. The dolphins were in danger and needed to be rescued. Leela and Max, along with the park staff, worked tirelessly to move the dolphins to safety. In the chaos, Leela's pencil sharpener, a gift from Max, got lost. Despite the setback, the wedding went on and the couple exchanged their vows in front of their beloved dolphins. As they shared their first dance, Max surprised Leela by bringing out her lost pencil sharpener, which he had found during the rescue effort. Leela was touched by Max's thoughtfulness and knew that their love was truly special. They lived happily ever after, knowing that they had each other, their love for the dolphins, and the pencil sharpener as the symbols of the day that they became one. Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Rachel who loved nothing more than sitting outside on a sunny day with a cup of coffee and a good book. One day, as she was enjoying her coffee at her local cafe, she noticed a young man named Alex sitting alone at a nearby table. He was engrossed in a graphing calculator, working on some calculations. Rachel couldn't help but be intrigued by Alex and his calculator. She decided to strike up a conversation with him. They soon found that they had a lot in common. They both loved math, and they enjoyed discussing their interests over their coffee. They started dating and soon became inseparable. They spent their days exploring the city, working on math problems, and enjoying each other's company. One summer day, they decided to have a picnic in the park. They packed sandwiches, lemonade, and some math books to read and work on. As they were setting up their picnic blanket, Alex noticed that the grass around them was too long and decided to use the lawnmower he had brought with him. Rachel thought it was sweet of him and helped him with the task. As they were finishing up with the lawnmower, Alex pulled out a golf ball and a golf club. 
He told Rachel that one of his hobbies was golf and that he wanted to teach her. Rachel was excited and they spent the rest of the day playing golf, laughing, and having fun. As the sun began to set, Alex got down on one knee and pulled out a ring. He asked Rachel to be his wife and she said yes, with tears of joy in her eyes. They hugged and kissed as the sun set behind them, surrounded by the smell of freshly cut grass and the sound of a distant golf ball being hit. From that day on, they knew that they were meant to be together forever and that their love would only continue to grow stronger. They continued to share their love for math, coffee, golf, and all the little things that made them happy. Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Emma who loved nothing more than fixing things around the house. She was quite handy with tools and enjoyed the satisfaction of completing a DIY project. One day, while she was fixing a broken cabinet door, she noticed a young man named Noah who was outside her window trying to fix a flat tire on his car. Emma couldn't help but be intrigued by Noah's determination and offered to help him. They quickly found that they had a lot in common. They both loved fixing things, and they enjoyed discussing their interests over a cup of coffee. They started dating and soon became inseparable. They spent their days exploring the city, working on different projects, and enjoying each other's company. One day, as they were driving to a gas station, they saw the gas station was on fire, and they stopped to help. They worked together to evacuate the people, and Emma used her skills to fix the gas station's shutoff valves, preventing the explosion from getting worse. After the incident, they decided to take a trip to the countryside to relax and enjoy nature. Emma found a pushpin on the ground and decided to keep it as a reminder of their adventure. As they were sitting by the lake, Noah got down on one knee and pulled out a ring. He asked Emma to be his wife and she said yes, with tears of joy in her eyes. As they were planning their wedding, Emma received a call from NASA. They had selected her as one of the candidates for a mission to space, and she had to leave for training. Noah was supportive and proud of her, and they decided to have a long-distance relationship. Emma became an astronaut and had a successful mission, during which she took a picture of the Earth with a pushpin on it as a symbol of her love for Noah. When she returned, they got married and had a beautiful ceremony surrounded by friends and family. They knew that their love was out of this world, and that they would be there for each other, no matter the distance. Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Jane who had always dreamed of finding true love. She spent her days working at a small cafe, daydreaming about the perfect man who would sweep her off her feet. One day, as she was leaving work, she bumped into a handsome stranger named Jack. They locked eyes, and it was love at first sight. Jack couldn't believe his luck and asked Jane out on a date. They had a magical evening together, complete with a beautiful sunset and a romantic stroll through the park. As they continued to date, they found that they had a lot in common and their love for each other grew stronger with each passing day. They had the perfect romance, complete with candlelight dinners, long walks on the beach, and surprise picnics in the park. Just as Jane thought that her fairy tale romance couldn't get any better, Jack took her on a surprise trip to a picturesque European city where he got down on one knee and proposed. Jane, of course, said yes, and they had a beautiful fairy tale wedding in a grand castle. They lived happily ever after, with their love for each other never wavering. They had 2.5 kids, a white picket fence, and a golden retriever. They grew old together, with the love between them only growing stronger with each passing day. They knew that they were truly blessed to have found each other and lived the ultimate fairy tale romance. Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Zoe who had always been fascinated by the afterlife and the concept of ghosts. She spent her days researching and studying different theories and believed that it was possible to communicate with spirits. One day, while conducting an experiment in an abandoned house, she met a ghost named Marcus. He had been trapped in the house for centuries, unable to move on due to unresolved feelings. Zoe and Marcus quickly formed a connection, and Zoe discovered that she was able to communicate with him. As they spent more time together, Zoe realized that she was falling in love with Marcus. He too had feelings for her, but he was unable to touch or hold her. They found ways to communicate their love through small gestures and messages that only they could understand. Zoe decided to help Marcus to move on from his unfinished business so he could finally rest in peace. With her help, he was able to let go and find closure, but he also made a promise to come back and visit her whenever he could. After that, Zoe continued her research and found new ways to communicate with Marcus. They were able to maintain their connection, even though he was no longer in the physical world. They had an unconventional love story, but it was real and deep. They knew that their love was eternal, 
and no boundaries could ever stop it. Years went by, and Zoe found love and happiness in her life, but she never forgot Marcus. And he always came back to visit her, in her dreams, or in the form of signs that only she could interpret. They had a unique and special bond that transcended death, and they knew that their love was truly out of this world. It was a warm summer evening, and the stars were shining bright. He was sitting on a bench, staring at the sky, when she appeared out of nowhere. She sat next to him, and they talked about the constellations. He couldn't help but feel a connection with her. They met again, but this time it was winter, and they were ice skating. She laughed as she fell, and he helped her up. They talked about their favorite books, and he couldn't help but feel a connection with her. They met again, but this time it was spring, and they were at a music festival. They danced together as the sun went down, and they talked about their favorite bands. He couldn't help but feel a connection with her. They met again, but this time it was autumn, and they were at a pumpkin patch. They picked pumpkins together, and they talked about their favorite movies. He couldn't help but feel a connection with her. They met again, but this time it was summer, and they were back at the bench, staring at the stars. He realized that she was the same person from all the previous encounters, and that he was in love with her. He turned to her and confessed his feelings, and she felt the same way. They knew that their love story was not linear, but it was real, and it was special. They knew that they were meant to be together, no matter the season or the place, and their love was eternal. They continued to meet, in different moments, different places, different seasons, but the feeling was always the same. A connection, a spark, a love that was out of the ordinary. Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Sarah who loved nothing more than flying helicopters. She spent her days working as a pilot, flying above the city and exploring the world from a different perspective. One day, while she was flying over an underground research lab, she noticed a young man named Alex who was working on a project in the lab. She couldn't help but be intrigued by Alex's work and decided to land her helicopter and introduce herself. They quickly realized that they had a lot in common and found themselves talking about their shared interest in technology and innovation. As they continued to talk, Alex showed Sarah his latest project, a device that uses a sewing needle to manipulate DNA samples. Sarah was fascinated and impressed by Alex's work. They started dating and soon became inseparable. They spent their days exploring the city, working on projects together, and enjoying each other's company. One day, as they were out for a walk, they stumbled upon a stray poodle, and Sarah decided to adopt him. Alex was delighted, and they named him Yogurt. As they grew closer, Alex took Sarah to the lab, where he had prepared a surprise. He had used the device to create a new yogurt flavor that he named after her. Sarah was touched by the gesture and knew that she was in love with Alex. As they were eating the yogurt, Alex got down on one knee and asked Sarah to marry him. She was overjoyed and said yes, and they hugged and kissed as yogurt wagged his tail happily. Sarah and Alex knew that they were meant to be together forever, and that their love story was just beginning. They continued to work and fly together, exploring the world and creating new things, always with yogurt by their side. They knew that their love was not only for each other, but also for innovation, technology, and the little things that made them happy. Once upon a time, in a world where everything was possible, there was a young woman named Clara who loved nothing more than dreaming. She spent her days in her own mind, exploring different realities and creating new worlds. One day, while she was in a dream, she met a young man named Luke, who was also a dreamer. They quickly realized that they had a lot in common, and they started traveling together in their dreams. They explored different worlds, from a place where the sky was made of candy, to a world where everything was made of cheese. They had a lot of fun and created their own rules and realities. As they continued to travel in their dreams, they grew closer, and Clara realized that she was falling in love with Luke. They shared their secrets and deepest desires, and they knew that their love was real. But their love was not only in their dreams, it also transcended to the real world. They started to notice that the reality around them was changing, and they could influence it with their thoughts and emotions. One day, as they were walking in the park, they saw a giant banana peel, and they knew it was a sign. They had to peel off their reality and create a new one. They started to imagine a new world, and as they closed their eyes, they felt the ground shake beneath their feet. When they opened their eyes, they were in a new world, a place where everything was made of clouds, and the sun was a giant jellyfish. They looked at each other, and they knew that their love had created this new reality, and that they were meant to be together forever. 
They continued to travel in their dreams and to create new worlds, and their love only grew stronger with each new reality. They knew that their love was not bound by the rules of the physical world, and that it was something truly unique and special. Once upon a time, in a small house, lived a walkie-talkie named Tom. Tom had always been a loyal and hard-working device, helping the family to communicate with each other, whether they were in the backyard or in the basement. He loved his job and took pride in it. One day, while the family was away, Tom noticed a new device in the kitchen. It was a shiny new toaster named Tina. Tom couldn't help but be intrigued by Tina's sleek design and innovative features. As the days went by, Tom found himself spending more and more time in the kitchen, just to be near Tina. Tom soon realized that he had fallen in love with Tina. He couldn't stop thinking about her, and he yearned to be near her all the time. But Tom knew that their love was impossible, as they were different devices with different functions. Tom was heartbroken, but he knew that he had to accept his feelings and move on. As time passed, Tom continued to do his job, but he couldn't shake off his feelings for Tina. He knew that he could never be with her, but his love for her never faded away. One day, the family decided to upgrade their devices, and they replaced Tom with a newer walkie-talkie. Tina was also replaced with a more advanced toaster. Tom was thrown away and forgotten, his love for Tina unfulfilled. But deep in the landfill where Tom was discarded, something miraculous happened. Tom's and Tina's devices found each other, somehow. They were both broken and discarded, but they were able to repair each other, and they started communicating with each other. They realized that their love was not only about the physical connection, but also about the connection they shared through their functions and the memories they created together. They knew that their love was unique and special, and that their love story was not over yet. Once upon a time, in a vast and infinite universe, there was a galaxy named Andromeda. Andromeda was a beautiful spiral galaxy with millions of stars, nebulas, and planets. She had always been content with her existence, but something was missing. One day, while she was spinning through the vastness of space, she stumbled upon a bowling ball named Bob. Bob was a simple, round, and heavy object with three finger holes and a shiny surface. But, for some reason, Andromeda couldn't help but feel a strong attraction to Bob. A strong, gravitational attraction. Andromeda and Bob started to orbit each other, and as they got closer, Andromeda realized that she was falling in love with Bob. Bob, on the other hand, couldn't understand why a galaxy would be in love with a bowling ball. But as he spent more time with Andromeda, he started to feel a connection with her as well. As their love grew stronger, they knew that they had to be together, no matter what. But their love was not accepted by the other celestial bodies. They were ridiculed and laughed at. They knew they had to find a way to be together, even if it meant leaving the known universe. Suddenly, the story takes a turn, and the narrator reveals that the whole thing was just a dream of bowlers, who fell asleep during his league match. The bowler wakes up to the sound of two bowling balls clinking together, falling in love. Once upon a time, in a world where anything was possible, there was a young woman named Lisa who loved nothing more than breaking the rules. She spent her days doing the unexpected, and she loved every minute of it. One day, as she was walking down the street, she saw a young man named Mike, who was also breaking the rules and having fun. They locked eyes, and it was love at first sight. They knew that their love was different, and that they had to embrace it fully. They started dating and soon became inseparable, and they had the wildest adventures together, and they loved every minute of it. As their love story progressed, they realized that they were not just characters in a story, They were also aware of the fact that they were in a story. They broke the fourth wall and started talking to the audience, asking them for suggestions on what to do next. As they continued to break the rules, they found themselves in a seemingly endless loop, but they didn't mind. They knew that they were living their best life. Suddenly, out of nowhere, someone started screaming, YOLO, and they knew that this was their chance to truly live. They decided to go on a journey to the center of the universe, where they would find the ultimate truth about love and reality. They climbed into a rocket ship made of marshmallows and blasted off into space. Once upon a time, in a world where anything was possible, there was a young woman named Lisa who loved nothing more than living in the moment. She spent her days YOLO, embracing every opportunity and making the most out of life. One day, as she was walking down the street, she saw a young man named Mike, who was also YOLO, living life to the fullest. 
They locked eyes, and it was love at first sight. They knew that their love was YOLO, and they had to embrace it fully. They started dating, and soon became inseparable. They had the wildest adventures together, and they loved every YOLO of it. As their love story progressed, they realized that they were meant to be together, and that their love was YOLO. They YOLO every opportunity to be together, and make the most out of their time together. They knew that life was short, and they had to make the most of it, YOLO. They decided to YOLO and take a trip around the world, experiencing new cultures and creating memories together. They knew that their love was YOLO, and that they had to live in the moment and enjoy it while it lasted. They traveled to different places, met new people, and YOLO every single moment together. In the end, they realized that the most important thing in life is to YOLO and live in the present. They knew that their love was truly YOLO, and that they would always cherish the memories and moments they shared together. They knew that, as long as they were together, they would always YOLO. <laughs>